everyone, it's Dustin with TechMD, and I finally got myself a fully professional shot. I absolutely love this, like a whole setup, and this guy did an amazing job, and I will show you later in another video on how this thing is all set up. It's really cool. Hey everyone, Nicole here with Cellbotics. We are an all hands-on cell phone and computer repair training center. We have trained hundreds of students from across the country right here in our training center located in Greenville, South Carolina. Stop being afraid to do repairs, stop searching for things because a lot of things you don't even know what to search for, and don't practice on somebody else's device to grow your skill. Come on down and get training that'll give you the skill set to do the repairs and diagnostics to make the real money. Be sure to use code TECHMD at checkout and you'll receive $50 off of your course. I look forward to seeing you in class. So today we got a Motorola One Action. All right, this is kind of an uncommon phone, but I definitely want to unbox it and also tear it down in another video. My Motorola videos actually do the best for whatever reason, and you guys really like the Motorola phone. So we're gonna talk about this uh, phone here real quick. It's a 3500 milliamp uh, battery and four gigs of memory, a 12 megapixel front end, it also has a triple rear camera. Ooh. Also, kind of unfair, as 128 gigs of memory. My iPhone, my new iPhone, only has 64 gig. And this cheap phone at 299 activation or 349, it's actually really cheap. So let's uh, start unboxing it here and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Take a knife to it, a very dull one. I need to find my other knife. I only seen this on display. So it comes with a case on there. That's interesting. Looks like just a regular charger here, USB. And see if there's anything special. I don't see any special markings on here. Looks like a regular charger. Nothing too spectacular or, or like a fast charger or anything like that, but it's possible because it is thicker. So maybe I can read on it here. It also has a octi-core 2.2 gigahertz processor, which is Octi means eight, uh, Android nine, and it's unlocked for all carriers. So it's completely usable for every carrier that you want. Comes with this little flimsy case, but I'd still recommend getting a good spec case or UAG case. I'll have some links in the description uh, for you to purchase that. We're gonna go ahead and kick this on and turn it on, take off the plastic. Come on. That's always fun. Uh, and it's a 6.34 inch IPS display and it only has 4G LTE, no 5G yet guys. Um, but for the price, you can't really beat that. And then it has the fingerprint reader right here on the Motorola. And then you got your triple camera set up here. Um, I don't have the specs on the camera, but it says 117 degree action cam. So I think that's the whole point of this. It looks very similar to the actual A20. So it looks like we need to log into Wi-Fi, but we're gonna go ahead and skip that and just log in here. So normally you'd wanna log into Wi-Fi and go through all these settings. And we can set that up. So let's do the fingerprint reader um, and get a simple password in here. So it wants us to read the fingerprint. See how this is very, I don't really like how my hand is held. I have to reach really high and it doesn't like to read my finger as well as I'd like. It's kind of strenuous, <laughs> if that's a word. I'm straining my finger to reach all the way up here from down here. As you can see, I can't really reach it. So I have to have my hand a little higher on the phone to reach the fingerprint reader. I already don't like that. Can add another finger, but we're gonna just go ahead and skip that. Let's skip this more and just click next. Let's get through this. Oh, it has the typical Motorola noise. This looks like a an, uh, an OLED, but it is definitely an IP. Usually OLEDs would go more edge to edge, but I do like how it does the full display here, so. I think that's pretty nice. ASAP created a solution to maximize the total amount of power that can be safely generated without using fossil fuels. This is enough energy to power solder equipment, laser machines, 
AC and ventilation systems, and any heating element for all sorts of repairs you might encounter. Building mobile solutions that cut your expenses. Whether you have one store or 20 stores, maintain the territory, all while cutting overhead rent. Do away with your added expenses, cut costs, and order your custom van now. Um, your typical phone, messaging, internet. Let's check out the cameras here. It has all kinds of settings. Live filter, portrait, cutout, spot, cinemagraphic, your typical. Does it offer me to access the triple camera? Let's see here. Well, I can do the front facing pretty easy. Hello world. But I can't seem to figure out how to do the other camera. Most phones like iPhones and whatnot, you have an option to, let's see here. You have an option to select all three of the cameras. But for whatever reason, this one is not giving me that. And I'm not sure what this action camera really offers here. Let's try to do video here. And it's supposed to be super smooth, I guess, at 60 frames a second. Still doesn't want to rotate. My goodness, this phone is not user friendly right now and most Motorola's are supposed to be user friendly here. There we go. It's kind of loud. I would say it's not that bad. Testing the audio, one, two, one, two, testing the audio. This is our tear down station. We're gonna be tearing down this phone in a minute. Testing the audio, one, two, one, two, testing the audio. Hmm. This is our tear down station. We're gonna be tearing down this phone in a minute. I have to say it's pretty loud. Testing the audio, one, two, one, two, testing the audio. This is our tear down station. We're gonna be tearing down this phone in a minute. Yeah, it's, it's about as loud as the iPhone gets. Maybe a little bit more quieter, but over not bad. But this, this is your typical run-of-the-mill cheap Android phone that gives you a little bit more premium feel. I would say it's very similar to the, your A20 or even your A50. So we're gonna tear this down on the next video and show you guys about it. My first impressions of my eh. I really liked the G7. I think that was a, feels like a more of a premium phone. And I can't wait to get my hands on the G8. So anyways, uh, like I said, uh, next video, we're going to be tearing this down. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any suggestions, this is some of my first re uh, review videos. I like to do more of this, and um, I need some help. So if you guys have any suggestions for me or the camera guy, uh, please let me know so we can make these videos better. Well, thanks for watching.